What's up everyone? My name is Brian Moncada from Miami. Uh, my company is AdSpend.com. We're a YouTube ads agency and education company. Uh, our current monthly revenue is $150,000 per month. Uh, and I want to grow it to at least $450,000 in the next 12 months. Top takeaways, I'd say building your team and not being afraid to hire people and like go off to fires. Hell yeah. Here? I think simplification. So instead of having like your energy going into two separate directions, try to have things consolidated and have the two separate things feed each other like a permaculture kind of a approach to business. Hell yeah. Wrapping up day one, and it was a phenomenal first start to the mastermind. I've already got three pages worth, maybe even four pages worth of notes, and I'm excited to share them with you. But right now, Clark and I are gonna head back to the hotel to change really quick, to go out to dinner and meet Aaron Dowdy, who's another famous YouTuber, over one point something million subscribers. Quasi and David are also gonna meet us, and a few other guys from the Quantum Mastermind as well. Have some dinner, have some fun, have some laughs, vibe, and then I'll head back to the hotel to do a full day one breakdown and recap and share all my top takeaways and notes with you shortly. See you in a bit. Okay, so my top takeaway from day one of the Quantum Mastermind is that you need to be collecting phone numbers every single time someone opts in to your video sales letter funnel. If you're someone who wants to close more high ticket clients, number one, you need to be running a video sales letter funnel to book a call so that you can close them over the phone. That's the first thing. The second thing is that right now you need to have a phone number being collected on your opt-in page. If you don't have a phone number, add it right now after watching this video. The reason why is because you can then have appointment setters, people who are going to outbound dial those leads the moment they opt in to watch your video sales letter to opt in for your free training. They're gonna be called within 15 minutes by an appointment setter, double dialed if they don't pick up the first time, and then texted with a message and this process alone will improve your uh, appointment setting booking rates by 30%. So check this out. This is actually told by Cole Gordon, who does about $2.4 million a month right now, who's also at the Mastermind this weekend. He said that with setters, you get up to three times more booked calls from your leads. Think about that for a second. Adding, collecting the phone numbers on your opt-in page and having a commission-based appointment setter call those leads the moment they opt in. That's their only job right, one of their only jobs, you can get three times more booked calls, which you can literally use to scale your business. So you start collecting phone numbers, you start hiring appointment setters, and you will three times the amount of booked calls you get for your business immediately. Other than that, that's it for tonight. I'll see you in day two tomorrow. Quick break into day two. I snuck out of the room right now to give you some gold. If you want to grow your YouTube channel from zero to 10,000 subscribers, I'm gonna give you the three fastest ways to do that right now. So the first thing you wanna prioritize if you want to grow your YouTube channel from scratch to 10,000 subscribers as fast as possible, number one is you want to find five other YouTube channels that are creating content around your specific niche and marketplace who have your customers already, who are already attracting your ideal clients, customers, and audience. And then what you wanna do is you wanna go to their channel and then list in a spreadsheet their most popular videos, their 20 most popular videos for each five of those channels so that you have 100 videos total in the spreadsheet. You can have a VA do this and now you have 100 proven videos that you can start filming 
for your channel that can attract the same audience that they have that you want. And because you have 100 proven videos and you're gonna make a video on that same title with the same topic, you now can show up in the suggested videos of that video that's already proven to now grow your channel to 10K as fast as possible. Step two is to have the right YouTube script, okay? For YouTube organic, it's the same structure as YouTube ads, okay? You have a hook, you have a story with three bullet points, and then you have a close or a call to action, all right? So you wanna hook them in the first five seconds, you wanna get right to the point within the first 30 seconds, and then you wanna make the videos at least 10 to 12 minutes long. Now, throughout the story of the outline, all right, after you hook them and you get to the first point after 30 seconds, no longer than 30 seconds, you wanna get right into the content you wanna have three bullet points, okay? In each of those three bullet points, you're giving them something. That's how you can outline your YouTube video as easy as possible, all right? And then your call to action, right? The close, the offer, is to get them to watch another video that's related to what your video that they're watching right now is gonna help them solve. What's the next problem they'll have? Have them watch a video related to solving that next problem that your current video just solved for them. Now direct them to one video on your channel that will allow them to solve another problem. Step three, all right, is never use me, my, or I. You always wanna to talk to your ideal client, your ideal customer, your ideal audience. One person, you, all right, use you, we or ours, okay? You, we, or ours, include your ideal audience in them. And this is something that I struggle with a lot, all right? When I tell stories, I can use my personal experience, my story to relate to you watching this video, and that really does bring out the video and the content. But one thing that you can do terribly, especially with new YouTubers starting off, which I made the mistake as well when I first started my YouTube channel, was, hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. You know who it is. It's like. No, they don't know who it is. If I'm trying to grow a channel and get new subscribers, they don't know me, they don't like me, and they sure as hell don't trust me. So I need to flip that. You need to flip that just like I did right there. See, you, not I, you need to say you, we, and ours. And those are the three tips to help you go from zero subscribers to 10K subscribers as quickly as possible. And I know that I will be implementing these as well. All right, what's up? I'm here with Maria. Uh, she's one of my favorite people that I've met in Quantum. And right now she's gonna share with us the math on how to get to your next goal in your business. For us at our, our company, we've been you know kind of at a plateau for the last six months. And she was like, it's just math. And then she's like, let's go outside, I'll, I'll show you. So here we are and uh, we'll get into it right now. Okay, let's do the math. Be before, when I start this year, like to 2022 January, I was making 40K per month. Okay. Yep. It means that I had to sell eight units because my price point was 50k product. Right? Gotcha. Yeah. So I have to sell eight units per month. Yep. My goal was to hit 150k monthly yep. by the end of the year. Now I am in between 80 and 100k, almost awesome. in my goal. Yeah. But how I did it is okay. If I have a 50k product. Yeah. And I I I want to I want to make 100k how much do I have to sell? Mm -hmm. A lot of units. I have to sell 20 units per month. 100,000 divided by 5,000 is 20 units of her program sold yeah. per month. Per month, right. But it was a lot. Like, I didn't have the team to sell 20 units per month. Yeah. So I said, oh, I, which is the easiest way? Okay, I will raise my prices. So I raised the price to 5K to 7K per month. Nice. Right? So now, now I have to sell less. 100,000 divided by 7,000. Yeah, I have to sell just 14. 14 units instead 14 of 20. Instead of 20 per month. How many uh, calls do I need? How many calls do you need to get do to that goal? To, yeah, because my close, my closing rate is about 20% to 25%. And if I did that, that much calls, how many leads do I need to fulfill these calls? You know? uh, so to get 14 per month, you yeah. need to almost do 140 calls. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I need, and if I have X call, how many people do I need? answering the phone to take 140 calls yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so okay i wanted to be just one person yes. on the on the phone yeah so i was thinking how many shows do i need yeah but it's not about all the calls it's about the shows yeah how many shows do i need to close that deals gotcha so i focus myself in making 25 
shows. So if 25 sh showed up calls per week. Yeah, if I, if this is my only goal. So you worked the math backwards yeah. based off of the end goal, and then you broke it down to one number, which is 25 showed calls per per week. Yeah, per week, because if I, this is 100 k, it's 100 calls. Yeah. Per, uh, per month, yep. it could be 20, yep. uh, 20 sales. So now I am hitting my goal. Like I'm selling around 10 to 15 per month. Yeah, damn. Because that's just awesome. I focus on this. How can I make this happen? Yeah. I don't focus on YouTube, TikTok. No, no. How can I make this happen? So the, the the lesson here is that in order to hit your goal, whether it's income in your business, 100k a month for this example, right? You need to focus on the one goal, whether it's you know it's not the content strategy, it's not the the platform, or it's TikTok, uh, yeah, YouTube. You need, to, no, you, you need to find like. Uh, uh, the, the item, I don't know how to say this in English, but the, uh, the indicator, how do you say this in English? Indicator. Oh, the indicator, yeah, the leading the KPI, indicator. The KPI. the KPI, you need to find the KPI that makes the results. Yeah. And for me, what makes the results are the show. The show rate, the show the calls. Because show then you know you'll close 20 to 25% yeah. to get the goal of 14 mm -hmm. units per month. Yeah. Alright, what's up? I'm here with Jordan after day two, and he teaches music producers basically how to grow their music production business, right? Yeah, how to start recording more bands and get paid for it. Hell yeah. What was your uh, biggest takeaway from day two? And just that I have been leaving tons of opportunity on the table for uh, my YouTube channel, so I've got like a, a list a mile long of strategies to implement to, to grow my YouTube following, so I'm yeah. pretty, pretty excited about that. What's up? Just got done with day three. As you already saw, we started off with me speaking during the second half after lunch, and uh, it was an amazing experience. For the second time, I got to speak in front of the Quantum Mastermind and in front of Sam, teaching everybody how to profitably scale their high ticket coaching course and info product businesses with YouTube ads. And uh, I'm extremely happy that I got to do that, extremely blessed, and uh, I'm glad that you got to see that footage in real time. And uh, ultimately, my biggest takeaway from day three was tax structuring to save and avoid on paying taxes. And we actually had Casey, who's in the Quantum Mastermind, who does this for a living with clients just like myself and clients like you who have businesses or want to start businesses, and he helps them structure what he calls trusts, right? Trusts to avoid paying as much tax as possible. And this is how the elite, such as the Kennedys or you know Bill Gates or you know even Elon Musk, uh, the billionaires essentially structure their you know wealth to be able to avoid paying as much tax as possible. To keep it very simple, just to recap here, the takeaway from day three was Casey advising us to open a business trust and then transfer money from your checking, business checking, to a business trust and then invest from the business trust or to make it even a little bit more complex but more uh, less prone to liability, uh, more you know, risk-free, open a mini trust for each of your asset classes underneath, which I'm going to do, and then invest in those mini asset holding trusts. And so uh, you can get even more complicated and work with someone like Casey. I'll put his social media right here for you. And pretty much that's it. I'm gonna go check out what everybody else is talking about, get some takeaways from the other members, and, uh, and then we'll see where we're at after. Pizza. All right, I'm here with James. He helps people quickly start and build their own six-figure 
passive income Airbnb business. I'll put his information right here, so if you're interested in that, you can do that, especially if you have a business. You want to funnel into passive income. James is the guy to do that for you. And uh, we were just having pizza, and uh, what were you telling me about the YouTube ads? Oh, man. Like, I was, I, I, what I was saying was that my YouTube account is profitable for the first time in over six months. And all the ads that are in green now on Hyros, they all say Brian on them. <laughs> I was just telling them, they all say Brian because when I structured them and after going through some of his training, I structured them and I, you know, I wanted to have his name because I wanted to be able to reference, you know, quick reference that these are the ones based on the structure that you train. Yeah. So, and I'm looking, Brian, 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 green, 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 green. Dude, that's 3, awesome. 3,000, 5,000, 2,000. It's yeah. good, man. Dude, so, I appreciate it, man. No, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. If, you, if you're looking to do some YouTube stuff, this is the man. YouTube ads, baby. You, YouTube ads. Let's get you some traffic. Let's get you some clients. This is the man. Hell yeah. Thanks, right. James. You're welcome, man. God bless you. is a wrap of the quantum mastermind learned so much met a lot of amazing people who you saw as well i hope you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the experience getting the behind the scenes of what a quantum mastermind looks like and ultimately getting the takeaways that i shared with you to help you scale your life and your business and uh, if you want another recap just like the one you saw right now from the last quantum mastermind then click the video right here and i'll see you there in this video, I'm going to be giving you a recap of the most recent Sam Ovens Quantum Mastermind event that just took place this past weekend for the end of Q2. 